In this class, we are going to learn how to personalize the next gen supplier registration page developed by Oracle that is in Redwood. I'm here in the new Redwood based fusion application page that is for the supplier registration also known as next generation supplier registration page. If you closely observe over here, there are couple of steps over here in the guided process Redwood page. That is, while creating a supplier, we have to populate or provide company details, contacts, addresses, business classification, bank accounts and products and services. Now coming to your customer specific fusion instance, you might be required to populate some BFF or you might need to enable disable some of the fields based on the country value or BU name so and so forth. We need to personalize this Redwood page in order to accomplish those business requirements. Only option how we can personalize those Redwood pages is with the help of Visual Builder which comes out of the box with Vision Instance. We will learn from scratch that is from the basics how we can navigate to the Visual Builder Instance, how we can create the project, how we can add the dependency for the supplier registration Redwood page and how we can personalize the fields as and when we progress in this class. Now without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands-on. First and the foremost thing is you have to log in into your Fusion instance. Then click on the navigation menu on the left top corner. There is this option called as configuration. Expand this. And if you see, there is the visual builder. Click on this. So in our previous classes, we had in detail provided explanation on how to enable the visual builder in your Fusion instance. So you can have a look at those classes. Now it is always a good practice to create a project for extending Fusion, Redwood pages and for building the of UI extensions from scratch. We can build a separate projects and accordingly you can add the team members for the project. Now in order to extend our next gen supplier registration Redwood page, I will create a project. Click on this plus create. I will tell this as SCM. You can provide the fusion pillar name. In this case it is SCM. I will provide the name that is SCM underscore fusion underscore extension 1001. So you can give some generic name or if you want to give the name specific to the page which you are extending then that also you can provide like SCM underscore supplier registration something like that. Click on next. From here we are unable to select the application extension template in the latest release. So you can go with the empty project as of now. Click on next. From here I will keep this default. Next coming to the team members, it is always a good practice to add your project manager as well as the team lead in the project owners. So you can search for your team members over here like the manager, team lead. You can add them as project owners. In case of your absence, they can manage or have the full access or the control on the project. And coming to your colleagues, you can give them developer full access or limited access based on their contribution in the project. I will keep this empty because I am the project owner. For demonstration, this will be sufficient. Click on finish. So this will be taking a couple of minutes in order to fully provision our project as it is going to provision the docker. It will create a build jobs, pipelines, npm, wiki, maven, code, build and the project and as well as the git repo. I will pause this class for some time until this is fully provisioned. Our project got successfully created. Now there is few hint provided by Oracle. If you want to know what is workspace, what is environment so and so forth, you can have a look at this. First and the foremost thing is we have to create an environment as it is mentioned over here by Oracle. So in detail we had studied what is environment, what is build and all. We are not going to repeat in this section. You can refer to our previous classes. Click on create environment. I will name this as dev1. So you can name accordingly to which fusion instance you are going to deploy your changes or the modifications which you are trying to do on the supplier next gen page. I will click on plus add instance and I'm going to add my fusion instance from where I have launched this VB studio that is from here. So same instance I will provide it over here. I'm launching this visual builder studio right within the same fusion instance. I will go for the Oracle cloud application and the identity domain. So I will select this. In your case, if you are finding n number of fusion applications which are linked to the same identity domain, then you can select. In my case, it, there is only one fusion instance. Suppose if you want to provide with the URL instance name and the username password, that also you can go with. So in my case, I will go with the identity domain, click on add. So it will take a couple of seconds in order to reflect the status as available. As you can see, our status got changed to available. So once environment thing is done, 
next we will go to spaces that is workspaces i will click on new as we are going to extend the next gen supplier registration page i am going to select this new application extension click on this i will name this as next gen supplier registration and i will use some code that is 1001 you can name as per your naming convention followed in your project as i'm going to deploy these changes to the higher environment i will go for the new git repository so always create single git repository for extending any redwood page because in future you don't have to maintain separate git repositories the problem will occur if you are maintaining different git repositories suppose two people in the project are working on extending the supplier registration and one person has created a separate git repository and another person has created a, a one more git repository and the team member one if that person tries to publish the changes from git repository number one then it will deploy the changes to the fusion and simultaneously when team member two they have tries to deploy the changes from the git repository number two then it will override the changes what team member one has done so it is always a good practice to create a single repository in the git and multiple people can share the git repository and, and their contribution to the application i will tell this as next gen supplier registration and branch i will give as branch 01 and the first person to modify this page click on create and one more thing before we go ahead we can select the sandbox suppose we don't want to modify the page directly in the fusion that is in the live version then you can go for the sandbox i have created this sandbox with this name all the changes whatever we do it will sit in this sandbox and when we publish the sandbox it will migrate the changes to the live instance and also if you are having multiple environments you can select in which environment you want to develop click on create so it will take a couple of seconds in order to create our workspace so when we create a workspace it will create the pipeline build job accordingly so once the workspace has been created user will be straight away navigated to the welcome page that is getting started so if you are not familiar with this design environment of the visual builder you can have a look at how to customize oracle cloud applications using visual builder or build your own apps that is the app UI. you can have a look at them now you might ask that we are unable to see this page over here as we are trying to extend the fusion redwood page if you just expand this unified application under application root pages also we are able to find this page well you might ask how we can add this page over here the dependency for this fusion redwood page the answer is you have to go to this dependencies over here click on this expand the supply chain management and if you just scroll down there is the page with name register suppliers where it is it's over here you have to just click on this plus mark that is like this then so once you clicked on plus mark it will add the dependency for this supplier registration in our app ui or in the extension or in this git repository so as soon as you click on this if you see what changes you have done in the application it will be dragged over here under the git so it says we have modified the extension dot js it will add the dependencies for our supplier registration ui so this is the id or the identifier in the backend how oracle maintains and the version number so that is done now we'll go back to our app ui so this icon is called as app ui you can create app ui from scratch so these are similar like web applications what you develop with your standalone visual builder application it's exactly similar to that but it will be hosted right within the fusion instance now if you see over here earlier we were seeing on the unified application now if you see we are having this supply chain management just expand this scroll down there is this register supplier expand this now here we will see all the pages which are relevant for showing this supplier registration next gen page you just click on start it will load the redwood page So you are seeing this message that we couldn't load this page because we are directly trying to open this page in our app ui that is over here in the register supplier so the step over here is first you have to verification go to the verification page provide the email id and try to log in into this application so when you are navigating to this supplier registration page from the fusion 
the step is like you can go to the procurement go to the suppliers go to the task over here and here you will see the registration supplier so when you are navigating from within the fusion that is navigating from fusion instance going to the suppliers then to the task and going to the register supplier fusion will authenticate on behalf of you and it will navigate straight into the supplier registration page but the design of this application is such that user first of all should be verified because the same page will be shared with the external supplier through the self-service portal that is from the procurement portal where the user will be entering the email id they will registering and they will be navigated after authentication to the start page that is this page so we'll come back to this later how we can navigate from this page that is verification page to the supplier registration page in this class we had learned couple of things first and the foremost thing is how we can navigate to the visual builder that is the sas vb we went to the navigator over here that is in the left top corner clicked on this go went to the configuration and the visual builder then we had created this project that is to personalize the redwood page for our next gen supplier registration we had created the project we created the workspace we have set up the environment over here as soon as we created the workspace Oracle will create the build jobs for us which will deploy our changes directly into the fusion instance suppose if you go to the packaging over here here you will see all the steps which are needed in order to package our app UI and subsequently when the package is ready it will trigger this deploy job so all those things in detail we had studied in our earlier classes I am not going to repeat all these steps also we had seen how we can navigate to the supplier registration page from the fusion that is we went to the procurement we went to the suppliers then from the task we just clicked on this register supplier it launched the supplier registration page right within the fusion as a internal source you will be able to see this register supplier starting with 24a release suppose in case if you are unable to see register supplier just make sure you are having the application or application administrator role that is to work with the visual builder then procurement and supplier related roles you must be having in order to work with the suppliers and the procurement then you can come to the offerings over here and click on this offering go to the procurements go to the opt-in feature so from the opt-in under the procurement you have to select the suppliers over here under the features over here click on the features so coming to the next generation user experience for supplier registration you have to make sure you check mark these options external supplier request internal supplier request and self-service procurement so if you check mark this internal supplier request you will be able to navigate to the next generation supplier registration page right from the fusion instance we can go to the procurement tab then to the suppliers then under the task you can go for register supplier coming to the external supplier request users on the suppliers can be straight away created in the fusion using the register request so with the help of this verify email feature users will be able to verify authenticate themselves and they will be able to register the new suppliers and also the self-service procurement application which is available with that also you will be able to create the suppliers so we will go in detail one by one step by step how we can extend or personalize this next generation supplier registration page and see how we can enable the dfs how we can override the fields how we can add the custom messages dialogues pop-ups so and so forth things as and when we go ahead with this series suppose even after enabling the opt-in features that is for the next gen supplier registration page you are unable to see the option that is register supplier then what you have to do is you have to again go back to the offerings select the functional area that is procurement in this case click on the new features once you come to the new features page just click on the available features over here from here we can search for the next keyword it's over here just make sure these two are enabled so by default it will be enabled if not you can work with the oracle or the fusion administrator and make this enabled suppose if you don't have access to make it enabled so starting with 23c this will be enabled by default in our next class we will see how we can override this page and provide our own company name over here instead of oracle procurement cloud we will give our channel name and also step by step we will see how we can add the personalization on this page